Hi guys, Neil Mendham with Katolch Gearboxes. One of the questions that I get asked very often is, is it possible to use a sequential gearbox in a standard street car or a dog box? And the answer to that is yes. Here I am in Toyota Yaris 2021 model. And we have here our seven speed sequential TY7GR gearbox, ready and raring to go. It's possible here <clears throat> in the car if you want to drive standard normally slowly or you can drive fast absolutely no problem let's give it a go so shift in the first gear with clutch drive away foot on the, on the clutch accelerator change up gear Absolutely no problem. If you want to drive slowly, for example to the shops or to your mate's house, foot on the foot on the clutch, take your foot off the gas and change gears. It works like a standard synchro gearbox, except instead of synchros, uh, there are dog dog rings inside. One thing that you want to do, yeah, is uh, when driving slowly. Uh, make sure that on up shifts and down shifts you put your foot on the clutch uh, as, as you can feel the car is moving uh, nicely there's no sudden jerking uh, as it would be when you're uh, driving uh, much much quicker yeah so it's easy at the moment i'm doing uh, 55 kilometers per hour through the town and, and absolutely no issues whatsoever i'm in fifth gear uh, in fourth gear i could go with a a little bit higher revs, but the fifth gear is absolutely fine. Accelerate out of the town, clutch, change gear, and away we go. Uh, the ratio in this gearbox is a little bit shorter than the standard gearbox. Yeah, uh, it's made for acceleration. Yeah, it's made for driving fast. Uh, when we have a, a race gearbox, essentially in a street car. Uh, we we want to just drive. That's our passion. We want to go. We want to drive fast. Obviously, uh, on the streets, uh, it's a little bit more tricky today. It's, uh, it's raining, so we don't want to go too crazy. But uh, for uh, driving fast, it's no problem. Uh, I can give you an example. Uh, we have here with the with the gearbox, our, our shift box. That's our uh, computer, which will drive the flat shifting. The ECU in the gearbox, uh, the ECU in the car is original. There's no change whatsoever with the original ECU. And down shifting here, slow brake. Uh, so I'm in gear number two. I can flat shift through the gears with no clutch. We'll do that now. Anything you know, it's uh, it's always how you how you drive it in, in, in the car here with the flat shifting. Uh, our carbon fiber shifting lever has an integrated tensor meter, and what that tensor meter is essentially a strain gauge. So when you're pulling on the shifting lever, it's sending an, uh, an electronic signal into our shift box software, and that software is then reading that signal and saying now is the moment we want to uh, cut the engine uh, signal and be able to uh, flat shift so when you have full torque on the gearbox uh, you must have some way of being able to cut that torque so you can flat shift yeah so full gas and pull through the gears uh, with our shift box system we have also a complete wiring harness package that's available obviously for purchase uh, if you would choose to use <clears throat> an aftermarket ecu such as a, a motec or a uh, Cyvex or something like that, yeah, which is 
uh, possible to buy for the Aris, then uh, by all means you can, you can hook up the flat shifting through that and therefore there's no reason to, to buy our system. So either way, it's possible to do. Uh, our system, you don't need any particular engineer yeah, or experience to, to be able to tune it. Uh, we have tuning uh, available uh, through uh, our, our staff. If, if necessary, you can call us and we can advise and give you some assistance. So that tuning uh, possibility is there uh, with the system. Of course, if you go with a Moltec or, or some aftermarket uh, ECU, then of course you would refer to your uh, local uh, dealer yeah, uh, through that to be able to, to map the engine for you. Yeah? So just now sitting at traffic lights, put it in neutral, yeah, easy. First gear, yeah, pull away. The other question, uh, which is quite common, is is it possible shifting neutral reverse? Uh, how do I do it? Uh, on the back of the shifting lever is this little uh, blockation lever. And when we want to shift into neutral or reverse, we just pull that lever and push back uh, on the shifting lever. Yeah, so uh, the other thing is in parking lots, how is it possible uh, to, to drive? Is it easy or not? There we go, I just put it into neutral. Yeah, so we can sit at the traffic lights uh, without any issues. Uh, so also in, in parking spaces, is it possible to, to park, easily shift into, into neutral and, and reverse? Obviously, as it is a dog-engaged gearbox, uh, there may be some instances where you need to clutch out to let the revolutions of the gearbox uh, turn a little bit to move the dog rings uh, into a free position that it can shift onto, onto the gear properly. Yeah, but we can try it uh, in, in the gear, in a parking lot, yeah, and uh, you, can, you can see for yourself. A lot of cars here. We'll park here where there's nobody. So into neutral. to reverse see there there uh, was a little instance of of it moving into reverse yeah a little bit slowly yeah I can go out back into first gear move back forwards yeah neutral reverse come back again so it's very simple yeah neutral first gear as an example, yeah, so it's very easy in neutral again. Yeah, so it's very easy to, to shift into neutral reverse with our gearboxes. Obviously, uh, being something from Katolch gearboxes, the engineering is a little bit different to other manufacturers. That's uh, important to take note of. So we have it where uh, obviously reverse is a gear that you only want to use when racing in a service park. If you want to drive uh, slowly, then okay. You know, use it as you normally would any reverse gear but uh, reverse gear uh, for racing is obviously a you know a, a smaller gear it's not meant to be raced with uh, hopefully you use one to seven for racing but uh, for driving on the street normally shift it into reverse gear make sure your foot's on the brake the car is not moving backwards you're not uh, in high rpms or anything like that yeah and just shift yeah reverse yeah so let's, let's come out of here now Yeah, neutral, first gear. Absolutely no issues whatsoever for, for shifting slowly in, in parking lots or anything like that. So let's give this a run. 